Hey y'all and welcome back. This morning I am starting off with eggs as usual in my cast iron skillet. Um, but I've had some requests to show how I clean my cast iron, how you take care of it. Is it easy to use? So far I have found that it is very easy to use. I love it and I prefer it over any other pans that I've had. So after you finish cooking, you want to right away go ahead and get some warm water and run it into the pan. And usually this gets off, you know, most of the things. Um, I got this little brush that actually came with my skillet, which is really handy. So if anything is sticking to the pan, you can just take it and scrub it across. Normally you don't even need dish detergent. You would only need dish detergent if it was like, you know, really messy, I guess. Um, but as you can see, just that little brush and water got everything off. So after that, you wanna take paper towels to dry it. You don't wanna dry it with a hand towel or anything like that because of lint. Um, so you just dry it and then after it's dried, you take a little bit of oil of your choice. Normally it's olive oil and put a little bit in there and then you rub the paper towel over that and rub it in. I actually did just a little bit too much olive oil this time, but it's totally okay. You can just keep wiping it. Hey friends, welcome back to the vlog. Today is Monday, February the 5th, and we are starting this day. Well, actually, it's not starting the day. It's almost 2 o'clock. Um, but I had to make Holly an appointment for the dentist. She's got a tooth that needs to be looked at, and they could actually see me the same day I called them this morning. So they made her appointment for two. That's the only time they could do today. Um, so we're about to get out now, go in there, get her tooth looked at. Um, possibly need to pull it. Not sure, because... Um, this time last year, she had one on the very opposite side. It was baby tooth pulled. So we're thinking this baby tooth is going to be need is going to you know have to come out today too as well, or they might schedule that for another time. I guess we'll just see today. But that's what we're going to do now. And then for tonight for dinner, I have a chicken noodle soup. I actually, let the soup cook in the crock pot all day yesterday, and I put it up last night. So tonight, all I gotta do is stick it in a pot and reheat it, which is going to be a super easy dinner. And we're just going to do um, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with that, saltine crackers. So I've got an easy dinner plan tonight which is good because the day's busy. I feel like last week was so busy. Looks like this week might be busy too. But anyway, we're gonna go in here and get checked out real quick. All right, so we are back home now. Holly did end up having to get that tooth pulled. It was a baby tooth. So she's inside resting, but Emily just came in and said, I have a surprise for you. See what she showed me? Eggs, y'all. You know that I've been waiting on eggs for like over a month now. Maybe even two months, I don't know. Our chickens are starting to lace. I'm gonna walk out here and check on them. Good job, girls. <laughs> so we're back in business. Just a quick update on my high C boots too. Still absolutely loving them. They're so comfortable. So it is now dinner time. I just dumped all of my chicken noodle soup in here. I added some chicken broth to it to make it a little bit more, a little bit more soupy. I think I'm gonna add probably just a little bit more liquid here in a minute. But if you're wondering how I do my soup, it's really easy. I always do it in the crock pot. You can always do it in the crock pot and then reheat it the next day if you want to. Um, but I just put in my chicken, I put in carrots, I put in a can of cream of celery and a cream of chicken, 
and then I just eyeball it with liquid. I go in with like um, half chicken broth and half water. Actually, a little bit more chicken broth than water, and I just I just fill the crock pot up until I think that's enough soup. I let it cook there for a little while. After I don't know, after three or so hours, you could you put your noodles in, and you can use whatever noodles that you would like. I used to use wide egg noodles in my chicken noodle soup, and then there was one day I tried spaghetti noodles in it, and the whole family loved it so much better like that. So now I'm using spaghetti noodles in my chicken noodle soup, which to me just makes it so much better. Um, and it's kind of like the canned chicken noodle soup. My kids love the canned Campbell's chicken soup. So that's what I do to it. Oh, and I add the carrots, and you could also add celery if you wanted to. Once mine's done, I always put red pe uh, red pepper flakes on mine. It just makes it so much better. And these are actually whole wheat noodles. I've never used whole wheat noodles, um, but I was all out of my regular ones. So I'll let y'all know how that tastes with chicken noodle soup. I'm sure it's going to be fine, though. So I recently checked my P.O. box, and I wanted to show y'all this sweet package I received from a subscriber. Myra sent me this, so thank you so much, Myra. It's so precious. I got this little blue blanket. The color is much prettier in person than I think it's picking up on camera. It's like this really pretty blue. It's a Sherpa blanket. I love it. And then this little outfit, it buttons all the way down. It's got the little bottomless feet down there. It's just so cute. So thank you so much, Myra. I appreciate that. She did get this off of my um, Amazon registry list, but no pressure to get anything. I do link it down below if y'all want to check it out. But like I said, no pressure to get anything. But I do appreciate whatever y'all send. So thank you for that. I feel like this vlog is going to be all over the place. So I did not vlog any yesterday. So it's not the next day. It's now Wednesday. Yesterday was extremely busy. Along with today. Y'all, I was thinking I was going to have a slow week this week. Nope. It's going to be busy just like last week. <laughs> but anyway, so it turned out that... Um, so Amy has been like rubbing her eyes when she does her school or watches TV and things. I've been noticing that. And if I would hold a book like far away, I, I could read it. Some of the other kids could read it, but she could no longer read it once it got to a certain distance. So I called Monday to make her an eye appointment to get her eyes checked. Well, it turns out they could see me the very next day. So I went yesterday. That was like the longest appointment ever. We were there for like two hours or more, I think. They were so busy. Um, but anyway, she got her eyes checked out. It turns out she did need a prescription. Um, for reading for when she's doing her computer work for when she's watching tv but she does not have to wear them if she's playing outside or playing or whatever she just needs it for pretty much school um so anyway found that out yesterday so i mean my third girl in glasses which she my, my oldest two have to wear them full-time she won't be full-time in her glasses so sometime today i gotta go pick up my other two their glasses came in today order amy's glasses today um we have church tonight uh, Holly starts violin classes today, her very first time. If you remember, Kylie took violin for years. Um, so Holly's going to be taking violin with the same teacher. I'm excited for her. So yeah, it's just going to be another busy week, it seems like. Um, and then I'll show y'all when I get home, but our kitchen floors are tore apart. Josh has started on that with getting some of the floors up so that we can eventually refinish them. He had to replace some boards, though, that were under the island before we can start that. But I'll show y'all that when we get home. So like the house feels like it's a disaster. We're busy. So I'm just praying that things slow down here soon. But anyway, I debated on whether or not even to vlog anymore this week just because I feel like it's such a chaotic, busy week. But hey, I share my day in the life here. So that's what's going on in our week. I had to run out real quick. The girls have started on their Bible and their math. We'll finish up the rest of the subjects once I get home and I will show y'all what we've got going on in the kitchen. Okay, y'all. So it is now the next day. I didn't have time to show y'all the floor yesterday. I got busy. But it's the next morning. It's just Millie and I right now. Um, but here are our floors. So before, this new one here looked like that right there all the way across. But Josh came home yesterday and started laying some new boards. So he got that laid, except for that one. He's got to like cut a piece for that. And it goes all the way from our kitchen in here, all the way through here into our dining room. So this is the ones that had to be replaced because of, you know, the island coming out to this side um, and then the rest of the floors he's just gonna you know sand all the floors refinish them it should look really good once he's done so i'm excited about that but that's the last step in this whole process but that will be the last thing that he does and then over here where my stovetop is um this is where he's going to cut out right there and put in the new 
stove and oven combo. It'll be the freestanding with the downdraft. Um, so it'll go right there where these two cabinets are. So whenever that comes in, we're still waiting on a phone call for that to come in. And then I'll finally have my oven back. I actually really miss my oven. So anyway, that's kind of what's going on right now in here. So I just went out there to check and see how many eggs we had. I was thinking maybe two or three I could carry in my hand so I didn't get the basket. Y'all, there's seven eggs. And it's only, let's see, it's later in the afternoon. It's like four something. And sometimes they lay in the evenings. Wow, seven eggs. They started like one or two and they have really picked up. So that's exciting. next day it's Friday I feel like this vlog has been going on all week long um but anyway I'm about to leave here soon Everly has a well checkup thankfully it's our last appointment of the week we've had eye appointments dentist appointments and now a well checkup today um and the next week I actually called this morning because I was supposed to go to the OB doctor Tuesday and Wednesday Tuesday glucose test Wednesday ultrasound but I called and I was like is there any way that I can fit it all in Tuesday so I don't have to go two days in a row and she checked and she got me in Tuesday so I'm thankful for that so I'll have my glucose test in the morning and then my ultrasound right after that thankfully I'm in Millie and baby boy's room I have been going through things um I had a friend that gave me lots of baby things she just had a baby boy back in November so she gave me some outfits that he grew out of diapers so I've been kind of like slowly going through things here and there getting things put up that's their closet over there um if y'all remember that used to be our homeschool cabinet but at Christmas when we put our tree up we moved it in here and ended up putting in the closet and I loved it in there because it gave me so much more room so much storage for his things and Millie things Millie's things and I can keep like crib sheets in there bassinet sheets and then over here um these clear bins actually has Millie's clothes in it and then the top one will be for baby boy's clothes that basket up there actually has all of his stuff um I need to wash and you know get folded and put away in, in the drawers and all that but I've just been to kind of stick it in that basket until I take the time to wash his clothes I normally wash baby clothes like 30 something weeks just so I'm prepared before baby comes and have everything cleaned and in the diaper bag all of that so I'm currently today I'm 27 weeks and three days so third trimester which is exciting last night for dinner we had the um grilled chicken the broccoli and the carrots and the fries it was all really good this morning I got up and I put stew beef in the crock pot so that's what we're having for dinner tonight I would say I would heat up some rolls but I still don't have an oven I think we're supposed to get our stove and oven today and then Josh has also done some more work in the kitchen he put some of the boards up on the side of the counter and stained it just to see how it would look yeah well, it's gorgeous I cannot wait to show y'all the finished thing once it's done um i actually might end this vlog with kind of like just showing you what he did last night while he was home anyway i'm gonna end this vlog out here i thank y'all so much for hanging out with us if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button down below give this video a thumbs up and we'll talk to you in the comments bye friends